agents are back, and this is actually kind of interesting to watch. One big 30% of you that have not smashed the evil living crap out of that subscribe button, smash it so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So let's take a look into the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! today as we watch two very interesting decks actually play out here. And let me tell you, I, I haven't seen agents actually do anything kind of interesting in quite some time, but this, this is, this is actually really cool. Hi, Infinite Permanents. We got the Hyperion, the Venus, the Jet Synchron, and the Ready Fusion here. And our opponent opened up the Gold Gondala, Terraforming, Booty, Tally Ho, and of course, Bronga here. Well, time to go get our auto immediate value here. We'll go ahead and get Free Gondala out of the deck. We'll go ahead and slam down Ye Old Gondala here. We'll go ahead and uh, take our value. There's our free discard. Oh, look! It's a Merry Maker! Well, we're going to go ahead and blow the Imperm there. Interesting choice. Uh, so we don't have to uh, deal with that. Interesting. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make Captain Champion of the Planet Zargas because this card is immediately value. Go ahead and search for Spriggan's Watch here. I'm going to go ahead and slam down Spriggan's Watch to get us some free value here. Go ahead and toggle to get Rocky from our deck to our hand. Mill off our friend. We'll go ahead and then Tally Ho for the detach. Go ahead and bring on up Rocky and the brothers here. Go ahead and overlay on into Gear X. Gear X, search for the Cyberstein. Go ahead and make the Platinum Gadget here. We're sacrificing two very strong monsters to make a little gadget friend here. Just because he can do this. Hey look, it's free pay 5,000. Wish we kept that imperm now. So this card does say that it can't be used as link material, but luckily, Gear Gan X does not require link material. So you're gonna go ahead and take your Stein with the gadget, and you're gonna go ahead and make Sprite now. Go ahead and detach blue, get Jet, and Jet on in to the Smashers. Congratulations, and then we're gonna make the Dijin Buster. So we're on exterior, Smashers, booty set with the Dijin, and the gigantic sprite and the gold gondola. How in the world are you supposed to break this? Like, be completely honest with me here. Because, like, we had to imperm the stein. I mean, there's no stopping that. Oh, nice draw for turn. We drew Dark Lord as Medeus. Yeah, um, I too would cry all the way. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead. Yeah, that was that was actually a very solid start from the opponent there. Actually, not really much they can do. I mean, all things considered, I mean, anytime you see that Cyberstein actually get involved with things, it usually is going to put you in a very, very, very bad position. And uh, look, he's in our opponent's opening hand. Uh, I see that our opponent here, this game opened up some very defensive cards with the Call by the Grave and the Gold Gundal here. We've got the Hyperion, a Dimensional Berry, and Imperm the earth and the exceed encore here so let's see what we can do we're gonna go ahead and drop earth and search for the neptune here uh neptune is by far our favorite card here we'll go ahead and neptune on up get our friend we get she gets us our sanctuary in the sky we're gonna go ahead and we're going to make the master flare hyperion here now we're gonna go ahead and re-engineer out all of our little shine balls here. I believe that we were supposed to pay life points for this. It's not gonna matter <laughs> in the long run, but we're supposed to be at 6,500, just so you know, okay? Uh, so we've gone ahead, we've got our shine balls up, and uh, we're back off to the races here. Shine balls combined together to make the Condemned Dark Lord here, which actually is gonna be some pre-value. Go ahead and search for Osmodeus. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make the Celestial Night Lord Parshath. Okay, okay, we're getting places here. Night Lord discard search for the Fallen Sanctuary. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and set the world, and we're good. I mean, we're on Dimensional Barrier, Fallen Sanctuary, and Infinite Permanence here, which is actually pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and deploy the Fallen Sanctuary now, which this actually gets us a negate since we do have what's called up and running. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our free value town. Hello, Sacred Waters. I'm gonna go ahead and Book of Eclipses. Gold Gondola comes down for the discard. Hey, look, it's Mary Maker. We're gonna go ahead and Fallen Sanctuary on up. Go ahead, take care of that. We're gonna go ahead and Dimensional Barrier, Call Exceed. They're gonna go ahead and deploy Cyber Stein now. I love the fact that Stein is just free real estate. Time to pay 3,000. We're gonna go ahead and Impermit. They're gonna go ahead and actually chain the book here which is actually really good. Getting this face down means that this can actually resolve. So there's an exterior. They tag over our, our monster. 
And then, yeah, so, fun fact, these don't go up out only. Sacred waters in the sky time. All right, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get negated. We're gonna go ahead and negate that with that. So now we get our search. Now we can get back off to the races here. We're gonna get called by. Well, <laughs> just kidding. We're not doing anything right now. Wish, wish I could be this good at the game. Celeste yields to grab the Hyperion at this point, deploy the Hyperion. And we're gonna go ahead and start smashing off the field. Hyperion smash. They are gonna trigger their field. Nah, they're not doing anything. They're just gonna scoop it up there. Um, honestly, for what you were seeing for that game, that was actually pretty good. I see that we are also playing Guardian Neatos in here. Do keep in mind, as long as you have no monsters in your graveyard, this is a free special summon on a very large monster. And this is actually something that um, I've seen in the OCG that uh, fairy players have been trying, or agent players have been trying, because the free special summon body is actually pretty incredible, actually. It does a lot for this deck. We're gonna go ahead and terraforming on up here, which is gonna get us the gold gundala. All right, activate gold gundala, get our discard. There's the merry maker into that. We're gonna go ahead and stack on up the good cards, grab the tally ho, yay, get our special summon. We're gonna go ahead and bring them on up and then there is champion captain amazing sargass with all the materials in the world loaded up all right i'm going to grab the regulus here all right we're going to go ahead and do the full detach holy three detach and back come all of our friends we get the regulus loaded on up here so we now have a standing negate here all right we're going to go ahead and here is the gergigan x into the stein this is the play that you know and love so much there's the platinum gadget down comes the Cyberstein, and then we get to go ahead and pay 3,000 big, excuse me, 5,000 big life points. Ah, yes, Exterior with a Negate next to it, my favorite. There's the Sprite, out comes the Blue, into the Jet. Boy, oh boy, look at this. Smashers into the Degen and the Set. All right, so we have to play through Regulus. We gotta smash through the exterior. We gotta beat the Dijin Buster, and we have to get through the gigantic spray here. We're gonna do the Guardian Yatos, and then normal the Earth. We're gonna go ahead and get negated there for the Dijin Buster, which is fine. All right, we're gonna go ahead and make Baron. Ooh, okay. So Baron's gonna go ahead and go battle phase, attack on over that. We're gonna go ahead and get smashered. Oh boy. All right, well, we went ahead and took care of that. Mission accomplished. Now we're gonna go ahead and discard Neptune, and we're gonna go ahead and special summon out the power of Venus. Summon up the balls. All right, here come all of the balls. Excellent, all right, all the balls are here. There is our friend, we're gonna go ahead and get Ashed here, which actually was really good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we took care of that. Now we get the Hyperion. All right, we'll go ahead and Hyperion smash. All right, that's gone. And then we're gonna go ahead and make the Parshath over here. Get our discard to search for the Majesty Paladin. Discard for the special. Go ahead and then down comes the Zalantis. That's something that you haven't actually seen this game. Zalantis for the reset on the effects. And then we're gonna go ahead and smash that. We did it. We broke their board. It was it was it was a very hard fought turn, but uh, our opponent top decked the Spriggan's booty. It's booty time. Up comes the field spell. Field spell, go ahead and make the X blower. X blower attach. Go ahead and load up all of the good cards. We're gonna go ahead and lose those. And then we're gonna go ahead, grab the tally ho. And it is time to bring it around town. Yep, here comes the reconstruction. There's the merry maker. We're gonna go ahead and swing on in for 28 and 11, a oh, thousand more. And then we're gonna get Zeus. And unfortunately, that is all they wrote for this. But I will say that this is actually a very good game. The agent player being able to break through that board was, that is the kind of Yu-Gi-Oh that I love to see on this channel. That's the level of like crazy stuff that you can actually see unfold in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, where all of these cool ideas kind of come together here. And you actually do see how players can actually interact and you know break amazing games so i hope you enjoyed watching this please leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think and of course don't interest me guardian Yatos in this deck i actually think that's something that uh maybe players should consider once again peace out guys patrons thank you
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.